them. Yeah. So, so the, the question is, uh, I'm also recording. What's it like being a Gen Z photographer? It's hard to get yourself out. I think it, it's harder than back in the day. I mean, it's it's definitely easier to I think share your photos, but it's yeah. harder to get like get famous, right? You notice because there, there's so many photos out there. Oh, especially with Instagram. You know? So like. And also, um, I think the the thing I find interesting is that like you like to shoot both film and digital. Mm. Is digital like still considered lame? Mm, well, I know. Like, what do people know, think about digital photography? Both you know what I mean? Hires film photographers all the time. Yeah, you know what I mean, though, right? Yeah. No, I think, I think there's honest. They serve purposes. Different. Nothing's different. nothing's better than the other. In fact. Mm. Yeah, I just like film because the process mm. and the look is unique. But mm. you can almost achieve the same look mm. with digital. Almost, ah. it's getting closer and closer. Ah. Especially with like Fuji and stuff. Like that. Oh, so tell me more about your like. Um, so both of y'all's like YouTube consumption habits. I could spend hours and hours watching yeah. for real photography videos on YouTube. For There's real? so much. Yeah. I don't really watch photography videos. I like watching like random documentaries. I mean, like my favorite are like, like um, usually I look for like there's like hour long documentaries. Like there's a one really good one about National Geographic photographers in the uh, '90s. It's mm. kind of an old one. Uh -huh. There's a good Magnum one out there. My favorite documentary about street photography. You guys should definitely look this up. I don't know if you saw it. It's called um, Everybody's Street. Oh yeah, I like that one. You yeah, that one? that's a fun Did one. You see that? Yeah. I've never seen it. Watch it now. It's, I Watch think it. it's on Amazon Prime for free uh -huh. now. Oh, right. uh, cool. Um, what was that lady's name? Cheryl Dunn? Cheryl Dunn, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Um, yeah, she filmed it on like 16mm, oh. Super A, and digital. That's cool. I think it was 2012, but two, I think two of the photographers since died. Huh. Who? It was, uh, it was that one lady, Jill. St oh, she died? Yeah, she just passed away last year. Dang. Died. She was great, and um, there's another lady that passed away right after the release, I think. Oh, uh, Mary Ellen Mark? Yeah, Mary Ellen yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark. Oh, oh, she actually, died. three now that Dang. I'm thinking of it. There's this one really old lady. She was like 90. Oh, whoa. Mary Ellen Mark died recently. She's probably top yeah. three favorite photographers. Yeah. And then Jill Stein. Some, was her somebody name? I don't remember. Cheryl Dunn's to, okay. the director. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, that's my favorite. Oh, so what do what do y'all think is going to be the future of photography? Hmm. I think it's going to be like there's a lot of on, on YouTube right now. There's yeah. a lot of sort of like old guys doing very technical stuff. But yeah. I think the future is people like uh, Sam Street Life or Samuel Street Life, which are like yeah, he's cool. actual photographers making videos. Um, because at the end of the day, I think people will buy a camera from people having good experiences from it, not like just pure specs. Mm. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, people are too obsessed with like specs of cameras now. Mm. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think about like the future ways of like publishing or sharing photos? I mean, is it like, cause you know, my, my biggest fear is that like more and more photographers is gonna be stuck in the Facebook, Instagram ghetto mm -hmm. and not go beyond that. I think Instagram, there's gonna be something that'll <clears throat> Uh, pass it someday, just like how MySpace was a thing and Flickr that died. Flickr was huge. I think nobody you know, uses VSCO that anymore. Yeah, Visco. But like that's that's just for like. I actually use Visco to edit a lot. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, I've that's never super really tried, but I don't know. VSCO isn't like very mainstream. It's just something that everyone links from their Instagram mm -hmm. yeah. to like show more photos of themselves. Yeah, yeah. it's not for like serious photographers yet. Huh. I know Flickr is, but Flickr is like not mainstream. Yeah, I, I use Flickr a lot, but that's just. Like, I love uh, it. It's probably the best image hosting site because. Image quality is yeah. stays the same. Yeah. Mm. You can like zoom in super far and stuff like that. You can see the XF data. Mm. Instagram, it's like probably the worst quality for sharing photos. Oh, another question: What else do people biggest misconception about Gen Z? I mean, yeah, we are addicted We're, to phones, yeah. but like, <laughs> whether it's bad or, like, some people it's pretty bad, like, if you're into all that Snapchat stuff, yep. which is, like, pointless use of technology, but I guess if you're using it to make content and uh, learn about stuff, mm -hmm. I think it's 
much I mean, better. If there was phones back in the day, everybody would have been addicted to it. It's like my parents, like, like, oh my God, you're always on your phone. Well, if you had a phone back in the day, you'd, yeah, you'd be doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, like <laughs> when you, so I have a question. Would you, when you're kicking with friends, though, is it considered bad manners to be on your phone? Uh, Not if everyone's on their phone. <laughs> I try and stay off my phone when I'm like with, with friends, friends yeah. Like that. yeah. And I can understand if you go on your phone and stuff, but I feel like a lot of my generation can handle like um, multitasking, being on their phone and paying attention at the same time. So they're just, you guys are more advanced, you guys are better at multitasking? Yeah, like, a lot of adults, they can't like focus on everything else and be on their phone at the same time, but. That's probably because they're just not as good with their phones, but people hmm. who are, like, we grew up with phones pretty much. I mean, like, digital, my first iPhone came out when I was, like, eight. Digital natives. Yeah. yeah. Well, dude, it's kind of cool, too. Like, you guys love photography, and you guys have iPhones, whatever. But y'all's not, like, that crazy about having the newest one, it seems. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, okay, it's cool, but then you still prefer to yeah, shoot with, like... I think the best iPhone that ever came out was the 4. Oh, really? Why Why the 4? I think four? SE. SE? Oh, yeah, the SE. SE, too. Well, why why you like that one? Oh, like, everything after the... SE was bad. Well, the SE is basically the five, but yeah. everything after. Yeah. Got so, I mean, I have a big fat case on Eight. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody asks for the phones to be any thinner. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No one asks for computers and phones to be. Or thin. Yeah. like, I want my headphone jack back. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so. And the SE was just pocketable. I mean, it was, it was like a had a great form factor. Yeah. Oh. And uh, tactile buttons. The only reason I upgraded my phone is because the battery gets worse and worse and worse. Oh, uh, yeah. Apple has some sort of weird monopoly on that shit. So. Oh, the yeah, iOS for sure. stuff, they keep pushing new updates, so then yeah. the older phones can't handle it. Sometimes you just update it without yeah. your consent, which is like, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah. So um, what, what advice do both of you guys have to um, older content creators? Uh, like Don't us? take photos. <laughs> Go actually take photos. Actually take photos. Take photos. Take photos. Don't yeah. worry about the specs of this stuff. It's like, at the end of the day, a camera is just a, a box that collects light, and a lens is just a piece of glass in the front. Hmm. Like, what's a what's a good camera gonna do for you? Yeah. If you're not gonna use it to its full potential. That's how I feel. Like sometimes it's, it's kind of sad when someone has like a super good camera, but their photos may not live up to it. Like I'm not some I'm not in a position to say who doesn't, but. You know, I would say, like, focus on the photos more than the equipment. Mm -hmm. Unless, I mean, I really like cameras just as a thing, but it won't distract me from my... Gear is yeah. the most fun thing to talk about when you're a photographer, yeah. for sure. <laughs> but, like, it's secondary, yeah. after all. At the same time. So, so, Dylan, what do you think makes a great photograph? What do I think makes a good, great photograph? Um, I would say there has to be something compelling about it. Um, it can be really, like, subtle, but it has to sort of... Um, there has to be like some sort of interaction within the photo, I think. Yeah. Either between, sometimes you only have one subject and it's like the subject and you, mm -hmm. or it's like two subjects interacting with each other. Uh, I like emotion in my no photos. Yeah. I don't think so. But yeah. let's just make sure. That, that's what I think makes a great photo. It doesn't. It doesn't have to. I mean, it can be anything. Like, I don't know. It's harder with landscape photos, which is why I don't take it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so um, uh, Cole, why do you like street photography? Um. I don't know. I, I, I really can't think of any uh, good explanation for it other than just... Um, or why I've photograph liked, people? Why white I've people? I've always liked observing yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's stalking people. That's stalking? Stalking with a good conscience. Uh, yeah, I can't think of any explanation that wouldn't sound like weird, but... Uh -huh. yeah, I think I people think watching is... Yeah. If is you're the type of person... At a cafe or on a plane, who yeah. likes a window seat, uh -huh. you would like to shoot photography. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you it's know, like, yeah, uh, that that's actually interesting. Yeah, because actually my biggest problem was I need to pee all the time, so I need to like, <laughs> I always get the the wind um, there the aisle seat. Aisle seat. Yeah, but actually, I think you are right. Is maybe it's better to get the the window seat, so you can just take nice pictures at the. You know, it's actually true because like once you become an adult, you know, people become hella boring, man. Like. Everyone on their phones, nobody looking outside, no one look out the window. I remember the first time I went on a, on a flight in a plane, it was like fucking magic. I was like enthralled. Now adults just like so jaded, right? Oh yeah. No, yeah. I think it's because adults put uh, convenience first sometimes. Or like more often than us, you know? Before what? 
I mean, like before interest. Sort of like oh. it's way more interesting to sit in the window seat, but you know, if you have if you've got a weak bladder. In your yeah. Room, you yeah. Know, yeah. What do you, what do you think about the MP so so far? This is fancy. Fancy. Yeah, I love the patina that's getting. Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what ha that's what happens when you shoot, right? Yeah. Actually, use it. That's the use your cameras. That's the Don't. most popular word you hear in a Leica store. What? Patina. Oh like, man. All of them. All the old guys there are like freaking patina, patina, the black patina. paint stuff. So. Yeah. Yo, what you gotta say is, I love the pretension. <laughs> we replace the word uh, patina with pretension. <laughs> I like this Leica lens because it's in feet. Mine's in meters. Oh yeah. Real real Americans use feet. Yeah. I hate. I can't zone focus on that very well because it's in meters and I don't really. No meters. Well, I'll give you the tip. 1.2 meters is about two arm lengths away. Mm -hmm. 0.7 meters is about one arm I length like this away. Because it has like, um, it has like this five o'clock is uh, the closest focus. Yeah. Six o'clock is 1.5. Infinity is uh, like seven o'clock. Hmm. You just like. Put on the F11. Mm -hmm. You have a huge. Then set it and forget it, baby. Yep. Man, this is really smooth advance, too. Yeah, nice and smooth, huh? Yeah, actually, um, Belly Mahan, uh, Japan Camera Hunter, um, got this for me secondhand. Like, in, perfect in condition. Yep. How much did you pay for it? I, I paid um, 3500 So That's it goes really new. Good for an it knows, goes um, new for 5000 Yeah. But I think, I think my friend Bellamy hooked it up, because so, it's my buddy, so. Your friend Bellamy. My friend Bellamy. <laughs> My homeboy Bellamy. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, blogging is the future, man. Yes, sir. I got a couple nails. That's right. Be like, be like those, um, be like the drug dealers who grew it out. You know what this kind of looks like? It looks like a penis. Where? <laughs> Look. That's the head. Hmm. Look, it's kind of phallic looking. Let me we try can't to get, see let me try get the mind. focus in. Oh yeah, it kind of does, huh? <laughs> You see it? I wonder, yeah, if, I see it. I wonder if the Germans are onto something. Well, I don't think they realize that, because look, it literally looks like a... It would make more sense if the camera was French. It kind of does. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> it's German. Yeah, the MP is beautiful, but actually funny one of the, the hidden downsides. It's significantly heavier. Oh, yeah, it's super Cause, weighty. Cause it's Even with the grip on the lens, thing. I think, also is... One. Oh, yeah, the lens is way heavier, yeah. Let's see. Because this is the same lens, yeah. like... Um, yeah, significantly yeah, heavier though. This is one has the for digital the the encrypting six digit code. Oh yeah, that's that's what that is. Yeah. Supposedly, I've I've seen tests. That's why I got this lens because like, yeah. it's supposed to be just as sharp. Which 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 lens is this? It's the Ultron 35 F2 a spherical. Oh, and you can focus closer is this, too. A, is this a new lens? Yeah, it just came out like two years ago. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the, this sounds this sounds dope. Oh, and it focuses closer too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds that sounds way better. Yeah, and it's two thousand dollars cheaper than that one. Oh, nice. How much is this one? G? I think it was. I think BNH has a sale for six ninety nine. Oh, that's so cheap. Yeah. Yo, that's like a really good deal. Yeah, and then there's another lens I was thinking about getting is the 30, or 21 3.5, and that's supposed to be just as nice as the uh, the 21 Super Angulon, or not the Angulon, Super Elmar. Who makes it? That's a Voigtlander, too. Ooh, yeah, I love Voigtlander. I think Voigtlander makes excellent lenses. For sure. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's tiny, and I got this cool. Super expensive hood though, but makes it look more gangster. Yeah, it's like a old summer lux hood. Ooh, I love it. Super beautiful. Yeah. Ooh, Cole, do you have a question for me? Um. Damn. I don't. Dylan, you got a you got a question for me? Huh. Um, I don't think so. I've asked you most of my questions. Hmm. You also live like three minutes away from me. So oh, nice. <laughs> cool. Boys, boys with toys. Yes, sir. Oh, 
I think a good question for oh, that's so smooth. people our age is, how do we afford gear? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. So how do you afford gear? Um, that's a good one. That's like the that's like the number one thing people ask me. Like, oh, how do you afford? All you gotta do is get a job. Yeah, get a job. <laughs> right? I, I worked as a lifeguard for a summer and I made yeah. so much money. Oh, for real? Yeah. How much you get paid as a lifeguard? Uh, I think it was like thirteen. It was almost fourteen dollars an hour. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Are you a good swimmer? Uh, yeah, I was on the swim team. Oh wow. So yeah. So people think that y'all just a bunch of like entitled degenerate kids you who get what? You know money from the parents. Yeah. I, I think I think at our age is probably the best time to buy and sell gear. Why? Because like we're not paying taxes yet. We're not. <laughs> we're not like. How you know about taxes? Yet. Well, I know because my parents are like, yeah. we have to. Uh -huh. But right now, I mean, we don't really have that much to lose. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get a job, most of the money is still ours. Unless yeah, yeah. we're supporting mm -hmm. our families or, or paying for a part of our tuition. But, I mean, a lot of it goes into our pockets. Maybe. Yeah, oh, that's smart. So, right now, I think it's the best time to like try all the gear. Like, yeah, buy all the shit you yeah, want. Yeah, I, try I it really out. Like, just working and then like buying the stuff that I can afford and then it feels good. If you don't like mm -hmm. it, you just return it, get your money back, and you, you know, you guys are smart too because almost anything in life is so much more great when you actually work for it. It just feels yeah. so much better. Like I'd much rather like buy my own camera, even if I can't afford the best one. Yep. Then like get gifted a good camera. I mean, I would yeah. never get gifted. I don't think anyone would give me. A yeah, camera. actually, my first car, it was <laughs> I bought with my own money. Yeah. Twelve hundred dollars, like a nineteen ninety one Nissan Sentra, and I had so much pride in that car because I bought it with my own money. Actually, one of my first gigs was when I was in high school. I built custom computers and I sold them to people, my friends, and I made about like a thousand bucks in profit, and I used that to to buy my first car. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, pretty happy about that. I made uh, actually quite a bit of profit from selling model planes. Oh, I really? A bunch of model planes, like Whoa. really fine diecast models. Yeah. And uh, over time, they like most of them kind of doubled in value. Whoa! And I sold it off. It was like, I mean, it wasn't like amazing value. It's just more like I bought it for like thirty-five to forty-five, and then I could sell it for like between sixty-five to like. 85. I oh. had one model that I sold for 120. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so you know, like I had about 30 of them. Mm. So that was pretty big profit, and that's how I bought one of my first. It was like my second camera. It was like a Canon 7D. Uh huh. And then after that, sold the 7D, or 7D Mark II, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then sold that. It was a refurbished one. Mm -hmm. I sold that, and then I saved up a bit more. And then I bought an X Pro Two. Oh, nice! That was what I used most, most, you know, for most of my photography. Oh, so Dylan, you've been having fun making videos. You well, said you're low key addicted to making videos now. Addicted to making videos. Why? Why do you like it? They're just really fun. And why? I like finally have a platform. You know, oh. To just get my photography out there. So, what's your favorite video you made thus far? I don't know. Like, I kind of like the one I made recently. I'm kind of proud of it. Which know, one? I gotta say. The one where I did street photography with this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, It wasn't really street photography, but it was like street That was stills. a good video. Yeah, you like that? That's probably my I, I'm kind of proud of the pictures I took with that. Oh, most, nice. Um, cool, why'd you like that video? <laughs> uh, well, I like, I love watching photo walk videos. Hmm. Um, yeah, my favorite are like Pav videos. Yeah, he was like walking around like sort of an industrial area. Mm -hmm. uh, and he made some pretty interesting Oh yeah, Dylan, videos. what's your channel again? Channel again? What? What's your channel? Oh, Dylan Fan. It's just Dylan Fan. How do you, how do you spell that? D-Y-L-A-N-F-A-N. Uh -huh. yeah. What's the easy way to remember your name? Uh, let me say like Dylan and then like, I, I know one of my nicknames. Oh, you can say names. Dylan like Bob Dylan. Yeah, Bob Dylan. That's, what, how, that's why my mom named me Dylan. Actually. Oh, for real? Sort of like wow. Uh -huh. And then Fan like AC unit. Because like ah, that's my nickname good. at my job right now is Dylan AC unit. Yo, wonder, that's, pretty name, yeah. that's pretty hilarious. That's pretty hilarious. Yeah. What's this, what this kid doing over there? Uh -huh. Ooh, does it look sexy? Yes, sir. Yeah, damn, that black paint is so mm. nice. Mm. So, I have a question. What do Gen Zers, what's your relationship to the gram? Uh, uh, it's not, it's not. I, mean, I use Instagram a lot, I'm on Instagram all the time. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it's just the. I, I find it's the best way to connect with people. 
Yep. Yeah. As, as far as photographers, besides in real life, but like you can find people on Instagram and then meet up with them in real life. So. Hmm. I actually think. Well, first it's like YouTube, yeah. and then it's like email, and oh. then it's Instagram. Wait, why email? Because email is like more proper, and like I think, like if you're gonna send email, you're gonna put more effort into it. Yeah. Because like. Uh, a famous photographer probably gets a hundred DMs. Mm -hmm. So, starting out with email gets their attention. Dill, what's your email? Oh, Dylan Fan, or it's Dylan two thousand and then Leap L E A P at gmail.com. But I think I'm gonna make a simpler one. You should make a new email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds that's that totally sounds like a kindergarten email. Yeah, I know. I know, <laughs> Wait, I why know. why'd you make that your email? Okay, because I really like planes and this like. Wait, were you born in two thousand? Yeah. <laughs> oh god! Yeah, no, Wait, why, why leap? Well, leap because it's like this, it's like this like jet engine. The, it's called like the CFM G leap engine, like this jet engine. You know, oh, like, man, maybe I like the sound of. You oh, know, maybe, maybe, nerdy. maybe just hold on to that. That's not bad. <laughs> no, it's very nerdy. Yo, but you're making. You're born two thousand. I was born two thousand. Yo, that's crazy. Um, what, what, what year were you born in? Two thousand. <laughs> Holy moly, man! Oh, I'm September. Okay. Yo, that's so better. awesome. You know, like, because um, I was born in 88. And it's funny, too, because, like, most of the people I hang out with are way older than me. They're mm. like, oh, you're so young. You're a baby, right? We're well, hanging out with a bunch of kids right now. Dude, honestly, like, I feel like I'm your age. <laughs> How do I feel? <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, you're almost like a big kid. Big kid. Big kid, right? I mean, you I live freely. I've never met a, uh, a happier 32-year-old. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. Because honestly, like, man, people take life way too seriously. People take life too rigidly. Too rigidly, yeah. I mean, you can be serious, but you got to have some sort of, I don't know, some chill. Yeah, my new, my new life thing is going to be, like, to take life more relaxed. Yeah. I'm going to open the door for this dude. How you doing? Pretty more, man.